Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV's Northeast Express. Violence continues unabated in Manipur and gunfire, which stopped since the declaration of the Model Code of Conduct, has resumed during the past two days. Two people were killed on Saturday at Moirang Purel, an area between Imphal East and Kangpokpi district. They are understood to have been killed during a gunfiring incident. The two deceased were said to be from the Kangpok P site. Confirming the incident, the Committee on Tribal Unity said, following the brutal killing of two cookies of volunteers in Pai Leng Mol, region of Kangpok P district, and the shooting of a man belonging to the cookie zoo by armed Mete miscreants at Shantipur, COTU imposed a 24 hour total shutdown from midnight of April 13th till midnight of April 14th in the entire Sadar Hills, Kangpok P district. The deceased have been identified as Kamen Lal Lupeng, 23, of Nongdam Kuki under Mopaudam Police Station, Kangpokpi District of Manipur, and Kamleng Sat Lungkim, 22, of Bongjang Village, also in Kangpokpi District. <laughs> The National Investigation Agency on Friday charged sheeted two persons, including the alleged main conspirator accused of involvement in the June 2023 Kwakta. Manipur vehicle born IED blast case. Three persons were injured and several public and private properties were damaged. Mohammad Noor Hussain alias Tomba alias Mohammad Noor Hassan and Simon Lung alias Minlun have been charged under various sections of IPC UAPA Explosive Substances Act 1908 and Prevention of Damage to Public Property Act 1984. A NIA press release said the duo were found involved in the blast that took place at a culvert bridge adjoining the area of Poga. Chao, Awang, Lekai, and Kwakta along Tidim Road, NH2, in Kwakta of Bishnupur in Manipur. The explosion triggered by a bomb fitted Mahindra Scorpio SUV took place at around 7.10 p.m. on June 21, 2023. The blast damaged the bridge, electric pole, electrical assets, and surrounding houses, besides injuring three persons. Tripura Chief Minister Manik Sa on Saturday said he is considering reopening all political murder cases that occurred during the Communist Party of India Marxist regime and would seek suggestions from legal experts after the Lok Sabha election. Addressing an election campaign at Santipara in Agartala on Saturday, Saha said the BJP is a party of Karyakartas and following the forthcoming election, everyone is working to seek blessings from the people. Saha claimed that many people who were against the CPIM were killed. In West Bengal, those who voted for Congress, the CPIM people killed them, he claimed. After the election, he is considering opening all the political murder cases in Tripura and will seek suggestions from legal experts, he said. Many people were killed, including the MLAs and ministers, said Saha. Army the soldier chilo tha their gola kete Pakistan, amader Bharat bhukonde amader ei Bharat der bhukonde file rakte. Amra Parliament ro dekhe chhi. Aga thene chhi Bombay the amra jan North East amra dekhtam terrorist der ana kona. Ata wo steep pori be sara Bharat bhushu jibe. Rayot ko nitto nimu bhukona chhi. Hindu Muslim rayot ekhano Ashish Danga amra shoy jan. Vivinno jaga hi jaga je government tar. রাজত্ব আগামী দিন ওরা থাকবে কি থাকবে না থাকতে পারবে কি থাকতে পারবে না তাদের সেই কারণে এখন সবাই ইন্ডিয়া জুট করে আইএনডিআই এ একটা জুট বাজে এত আর নেই অ্যালায়েন্স তো আর এখন নেই ইন্ডি জুট হয়েছে 
In a tragic incident, a three-year-old boy drowned near his residence located at Konaban area under Kamal Sagar in Sipahi Jala district. The deceased toddler was identified as Surajit Devnath. According to available information, the toddler was playing at his home in the morning. After a while, he could not be found in the courtyard. The family members started to search for him in the locality but could not find him. Later, they reportedly noticed that the baby was floating on a water body adjacent to their house. He was immediately rushed to Madhupur Hospital where doctors declared him brought dead. A pall of gloom descended on the area as the news of the child's death spread. তারপরে বাড়ির লোকের সাথে জিজ্ঞেস করা হলো যে কিভাবে হয়েছে ওরা নাকি সকালবেলা বাচ্চা টিফিন করার পরে বাচ্চার বাড়িতে একটা গর্ত করে রেখেছিল মাছ চাষের জন্য ওই জলের মধ্যে পড়ে গেছে তো প্রথমে বাড়ির লোক বুঝতে পারেনি ওরা বাড়ির চারপাশে ঘুরার পর মানে এদিকে ওদিকে ঘুরে দেখেছে খুঁজেছে তারপর দেখতে জলের ভেতর থেকে বুদ্ধুত করে উঠছে তারপর ওরা দেখলো যে ওখান থেকে বাচ্চাটাকে বের করে আনা ইমার্জেন্সি এনে নাম কি বাচ্চাটার বাচ্চাটার নাম হচ্ছে সুরজিৎ দেবনাথ তিন বছর বাচ্চার বাবার নাম হচ্ছে কমল দেবনাথ বাড়িটা বাড়ি হচ্ছে কোনাপন Charak Puja, also known as Neel Puja, was celebrated with great enthusiasm in Barak Valley. The fervor was evident in every nook and corner of the region. On Saturday, the last day of the Chaitra month of the Bengali calendar, thousands gathered to join in this festivity. The worshippers gathered to worship Lord Shiva and Goddess Durga for success. While some women fast before this festival and male devotees swing from a pole, with hooks being attached to their backs, rituals of worshipping Lord Shiva and Goddess Durga culminate with the distribution of prasad. <laughs> a woman physically assaulted a 10 year old boy on suspicion that he stole eggs from a house on 12th april in sanistown of woka district the alleged perpetrator is said to be a resident of sanistown Visuals being circulated on social media showed physical injuries on the boy's legs, hands, back and bleeding from the head. Speaking over a telephonic conversation, the boy's father refused to file a complaint against the woman and instead spoke about forgiving her, saying it is the law enforcing agency that will take legal action. He refused to lodge an FIR. It is learned that the woman and the alleged victim were neighbours and residents of Sanistown. Hornbill TV spoke to Woka's additional SP, K. Soreso Quinka, who reported that upon receiving Information yesterday, the juvenile was promptly taken to a community health centre for medical attention. The SP stated that the child exhibited mild swelling on both upper and lower limbs, indicating possible assault with a bamboo stick. Subsequently, the Child Welfare Committee was alerted and custody of the child was transferred to them. Further investigation revealed the alleged perpetrator to be Zubaini Ovung from Moraktso village. Despite the child's father's reluctance to lodge an FIR, the police initiated legal action and filed a Suomoto case against Ovung. She has been charged under IPC sections 323, 324 and Juvenile Justice Act section 75. The culprit has been apprehended by the Bowman Police Station in Woka. The Assamese Society of Nahar Lagoon, Arunachal Pradesh, came together in vibrant celebration at Christi Kendra Nahar Lagoon premises to mark the joyous occasion of Rongali Bihu. Amidst colorful, tra colorful traditional attire, lively music and traditional dances, the community rejoiced, strengthening cultural bonds and spreading festive cheer throughout the region.
Speaking on the implementation of UCC in Assam, Union Minister Sarbananda Sonwal on Sunday said that it should be implemented in the state and should be implemented everywhere in phase-wise. While welcoming the One Nation, One Election, he said that it is a very good idea and every citizen of the country is waiting for this to happen and added that it can be made possible only by PM Modi. That's right, because Uttarakhand has started it, so we will do it in phase-wise, everywhere it should be like, you know, implemented. And what about you say, One Nation, One Election? Very good, very good idea. I, I, by heart, I welcome it. Every citizen of the country is waiting this thing to happen. And ये संभव कर सकता है इसे मोदी जी ही कर सकते हैं जिसका पास निष्ठा है ईमानदारी है काबिलियत है और मेहनत करने का सबसे बड़े गुण है ताकत है और बड़े निर्णय लेने का उनका पास जो ताकत है और उसकी वजह से मुझे लगता है कि पिछले दस साल के अंदर जो भी निर्णय हुई है जो भी कदम उठाया गया है हर कदम हर निर्णय सफल प्रमाणित हुई है तो अगले दिनों में ऐसा ही होगा हमारे इस विषय पर भी कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट में जो आज मैनिफेस्टो चूंकि जारी हो गया है मोदी की गारंटी इसका कितना असर चुनाव में आप लोग को बहुत होगा बहुत होगा अब नॉर्थ ईस्ट का नई पीढ़ी जो है विद्यार्थी जो है वो भी चाहता है कि उसके जीवन सफल बने तो इसके लिए सफल बनाने के लिए जो माहौल चाहिए आज के जमाने में इंफॉर्मेशन के लिए इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी हो कनेक्टिविटी कम्युनिकेशन ऑल अदर लाइक इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन ग्रोथ सो एवरीथिंग इज नाउ ग्रोइंग Now the Bibasta ecosystem has been developed in such a manner the young generation now got charged up and they are motivated. The Union Minister further attacked the Congress and said that under Congress regime, the Northeast region had to stay behind due to stepmotherly and discriminative policy despite the region having enough resources and possibilities. The Minister also said that peace has been brought back to the region only due to PM Modi and HM Amit Shah. एक खबर है और ऐसे ही आपने खुद देखी है नॉर्थ ईस्ट में पहले क्या हालत थी कांग्रेस ने क्या हालत बना के रखा था नॉर्थ ईस्ट इतना संपदा शक्ति संभावनाओं से भरे हुए एक रीजन को कांग्रेस की उनकी जो मिस रूल उनकी करप प्रैक्टिसेस और डिस्क्रिमिनेटिव पॉलिसी के वजह से स्टेप मॉडल ट्रीटमेंट के वजह से नॉर्थ ईस्ट को पीछे रहना पड़ा और आज मोदी जी के कार्यकाल में 10 साल के अंदर मोदी जी ने जो भी नॉर्थ ईस्ट को मौका दिया जो सुविधा दिया जो सपोर्ट किया इसकी वजह से नॉर्थ ईस्ट जाग उठा भी नॉर्थ ईस्ट अपना पहचान सिर्फ देश के अंदर नहीं दुनिया में बनाने में आज सफलता प्राप्त की है इसका मूल कारण है मोदी जी का निरंतर कोशिश हर मंत्री को उन्होंने हर केंद्रीय मंत्री को नॉर्थ ईस्ट दौरा करने के लिए उन्होंने निर्देश दी हर वरिष्ठ अधिकारी को दी हर कार्यक्रम के सही समय पर उसको सफल बनाने के लिए उसको लागू करने के लिए निर्देश दी इसके वजह से 10 साल के अंदर खुद वो मोदी जी यहाँ 64 से अधिक टाइम उन्होंने नॉर्थ ईस्ट विजिट की तो नॉर्थ ईस्ट के लिए मोदी जी का जो ध्यान है जो आग्रह है तो इसके वजह से आज नॉर्थ ईस्ट की लोगों को ऐसे लगने लगा मोदी जी ने हम हमारे लिए जो भी किया है हमारे जीवन को सजाने के लिए किया है हमें आगे बढ़ाने के लिए किया है तो इसलिए बहुत विश्वास है मोदी जी पर और इसलिए जो भी अफसा जो है उसको भी फेज वाइज उसको निकाला जाएगा उसको मतलब दे शुड बी विड्रॉन फेज वाइज दैट हैज बीन आल्सो प्रॉमिस एंड आल्सो देर विल बी नो फर्दर इंटरेस्टेड डिस्प्यूट एनीवेयर इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन पीसेस ब्रॉट बैक टू द रीजन ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह जिस स्पेशल एफर्ट एंड टेकिंग ऑल द स्टेट अलॉन्ग taking them into like an a confidence this uh, initiative has been taken up and as a result uh, we got better peace now better tranquility and as a result we are now growing faster so this is the precious gift given by honorable prime minister narendra modi in the last 10 years to the people of north east that was what expected again and again congress have miserably failed in the last 60 years but modi ji only 10, 10 years he has brought back all this kind of peace and tranquility to the state of Assam as a whole. Now, uh, Assam is also like that. After Iran launched drones and missile attacks on Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to respond defensively and offensively, saying that Israel has been preparing for a direct attack by Iran for years. In recent years, and especially in recent weeks, Israel has been preparing for a direct attack by Iran. Our defensive systems are deployed. We are ready for any scenario, both defensively and offensively. The state of Israel is strong. The IDF is strong. The public is strong, Netanyahu said in a video posted by the Israeli PMO Next. 
We appreciate the U.S. standing alongside Israel as well as the support of Britain, France and many other countries, he added. Netanyahu affirmed that Israel have demanded a clear principle, whoever harms us, we will harm them. In a major escalation amid the ongoing military offensive on Hamas in Gaza, Iran launched several drones and missiles towards Israel in retaliation to the airstrike on its consulate in Syria that resulted in the killing of three top generals. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps issued a statement confirming its launch of an attack on Israel, saying it was in response to Israel Defense Forces strike on a consular compound in Damascus in which several IRGC members were killed, including two generals earlier this month. Israel, in the years and in the past few weeks, Israel has been the opportunity of a strong attack from Iran. Our forces are now closed. We are closed to all the forces, both in the attack and in the attack. מדינת ישראל חזקה, צה"ל חזק, הציבור חזק. אנחנו מעריכים את ההתייצבות של ארצות הברית לצידה של ישראל, וכן את התמיכה של בריטניה, צרפת ומדינות רבות אחרות. קבעתי עיקרון ברור, מי שפוגע בנו, אנחנו פוגעים בו. אנחנו נגן על עצמנו מול כל איום, ונעשה זאת בקור רוח ובנחישות. אני יודע שגם אתם, אזרחי ישראל, שומרים על קור רוח. אני קורא לכם לשמוע להנחיות פיקוד העורף. יחד נעמוד, ובעזרת השם, יחד נתגבר על כל אויבינו. India on Sunday said it is seriously concerned over escalating hostilities between Israel and Iran and called for immediate de-escalation of the situation. Iran has launched a missile attack on Israel as part of its retaliation to a suspected Israeli airstrike on its consulate in Damascus on April 1st. We are seriously concerned at the escalation of hostilities between Israel and Iran, which threatens the peace and security in the region, the Ministry of External Affairs said. We call for immediate de-escalation, exercise of restraint, stepping back from violence and return to the path of diplomacy, it said in a statement. The MEA said India is closely monitoring the evolving situation. Our embassies in the region are in close touch with the Indian community. It is vital that security and stability are maintained in the region, it added. It may be noted that Iran mounted a series of aerial attacks via explosive drones and missiles directly on Israel on Saturday night, marking its first ever direct conflict on Israeli territory. These strikes were in retaliation to an Israeli attack on an Iranian consulate building in Damascus on April 1st, which resulted in the deaths of at least 13 people, including two high-ranking members of Iran's Revolutionary Guards. Prime Minister Modi, after releasing its poll manifesto on Sunday, said that BJP is going to strengthen the foundation of India of the 21st century through three kinds of infrastructure. Social infrastructure, digital infrastructure, physical infrastructure. The party will open new educational institutions for social infrastructure and under physical infrastructure, they are modernizing highways, railways, airways and waterways across the country. <laughs> दूसरा है डिजिटल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तीसरा है फिजिकल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सोशल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के लिए हम नए नए एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट खोल रहे हैं यूनिवर्सिटीज बनवा रहे हैं मेडिकल कॉलेज बनवा रहे हैं आयुष्मान आरोग्य मंदिर गांवों में बना रहे हैं इतना ही नहीं हमारे जो विशेषकर ट्रक ड्राइवर्स हैं उनके लिए हम हाईवे के पास उनको सफिशिएंट रेस्ट मिले एक्सीडेंट कम हो इसके लिए बहुत बड़े इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप करने जा रहे हैं ताकि ड्राइवर सफर के दरमियान हाईवे पर दैट वाज ऑल फॉर दिस आज बुलेटिन फॉर मोर न्यूज एंड अपडेट्स स्टे ट्यून टू ऑन बिल टीवी गुड बाय